Oh, hey, welcome to Danny's house. I'm Danny, and this is my house. <laughs> Man, I was just thinking about high school. It was delicious. Some of the best years of my life. Pink Corvettes pulling up in the parking lot, the latest BMWs, cheerleaders sitting on my lap, football practices, homecomings, primes. Man, it don't get no better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I dropped out of high school because that shit got crazy in Detroit. This ain't even my yearbook. Where the hell did he get that cap and gown from? Please get me out of this yearbook. I hate high school. My high school was crazy. Burritos with the hot dogs in the middle at lunch, selling fried chicken in the hallways, getting haircuts in the bathroom. Man, just thinking about it make me want to go back to high school all over again. Wait, who's he talking to? Are we on a TV show? Oh shit, this must be the theme song. Check! Hi, I'm Danny. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Sweat your feet on a rock. Check it, check it out. Soapin'. Check your shoes off. Have a seat on a couch. Got something oh, on my mind, so oh, I like to oh. talk about. I wanna Mike, you trash. Mike, you trash. Mike, you trash. I got into shoplifting a little late. Shoplifting what? Just a bunch of crap I didn't even need. <laughs> what do you think could be like the worst thing you can do in high school? Getting caught taking the shit. <laughs> Everybody has fun at Danny's house. <laughs> 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 Mikey. Boo boo. My key. Cause you the key to this ass with my key. Really, Mike? Really though? You ready? I've been ready, man. Mm -hmm. Let's see how ready you is. Mikey, I'm the best microphone. You should be quiet. Boo, Mike. I rap like I'm biggie your pun, but I'm on a diet. Bars. Ew. That's how you gonna come at me, Mike? Yeah. That's how you feel, Mike? Mm -hmm. All right, Mikey. Uh, keep talking shit, yo. You're making me erratic. I'm the best talking microphone. Bitch, you got static. Feedback, mom. Trash. Mike, you trash. You were found in the trash. Oh, oh you gonna you gonna bring up the flea market thing? I told you that in confidence. Was that supposed to be a battle rap? Yeah, we're battling over who's the best. It was pretty dope, right? That sucks. We suck. No, you man, I'm dope. Danny, I do this. No, no, never do that again, please. Especially while y'all living here. Y'all gonna end up homeless like that, man. Missy Elliott follows me on Twitter. How about that? Hallelujah. Bless. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all been smoking crack today? Man, you just listening wrong. It's eclectic. I'm telling you, Danny, I'm going to the top. No, no. Y'all making Young MC look like Tupac right now. What? That's a travesty to hip hop. We, we good though, right? Never open your mouth in rhythm and rhyme ever again. Sorry, Danny. Sorry, Danny. Sorry, Sorry. 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 Come on, man. Y'all feeding back right now, man. One at a time. Well, hopefully your first guest only gives you positive feedback. Danny. Comedian Nikki Glazer. <laughs> hey, man, I was going to say that. I don't care. She didn't say it fast enough. <laughs> it's Nikki Glazer. What's up, Nikki? Hey. I really like her, man. She was on Dance with the Stars. She was great in that Bruce Willis roast. Yo, I seen her on her radio show. You up? How did you see her on the radio show? That only makes sense. Because I'm a microphone and I can see Sam. Thank you for showing up to the Thank crib. Thank you for having me at your crib. Oh, no, it's good, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, we've just been kicking it about high school. Let's was, relive the how day. How was your high school? What was high school like for you? I'm not like one of these people that goes like, oh, it was the best time of my life or it was the worst time of my life. It was a good time. I would kill to go back. So you say you were popular in high school? No, no. I just wanted to be under the radar constantly. I wanted no one to notice me, no one to be able to make fun of me. I got made fun of for having buck teeth in fifth grade. And then by the time high school came, I like hated everything about myself. I just wanted to be invisible. And then I got an eating disorder my senior year. Oh, wow. And I almost died. So you didn't like school lunches then? No, I love school lunches. <laughs> that was the problem. I ballooned up. What was your favorite school lunch? Oh, just like f uh, chicken fingers. So y'all went. You must went to a good high school that had good cooks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. My favorite thing was the burrito with the hot dog in the middle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is not a thing. <laughs> you ever had one of those? No. In the inside, it wasn't like beans. It was like sloppy Joe. That is so gross it's slash amazing. interesting. I ain't gonna lie. It was kind of like one of my favorite things when it popped out. If you could get a crunchy one. Okay, okay. <laughs>
You know, I wanted to be popular in school. Yeah, everyone does. Yeah, but I was really like a nerdy kid, to be honest. But I had this senior girlfriend when I was in the 10th grade. She wasn't really that hot. She just had a Ford Escort. <laughs> but I came popular by default. Because what happened was my grandma, she had a cleaners. And I used to, you know, press clothes and stuff. One guy put his clothes in, a lot of stuff, like Tommy Hilfiger, Nautica, yeah. all the cool 90s stuff, you yeah. know? And um, he left them in there too long, so I went and stole it. Yeah, yeah of course. So, so I became like one of the best dressed Oh, kids that's in school how, oh, by man. default. <laughs> I got caught stealing when I was 19, and I haven't done it since. What were you trying to steal? Just a bunch of crap I didn't even need. I just got a high from getting out of the store with new stuff. I remember when I got caught, she was going through it. She was like a cool manager at Urban Outfitters, but I'm crying in the back office. She's going through my bag, and she goes, really, this shirt? This is disgusting. She was like judging my choices, and I was like, I don't even like it. I know it's a boy's. Like, I was just stealing things because I could. I was still in secondhand stuff. You but, still in new stuff. Yeah, you got tags which is and bad. stuff. Yeah. Well, you go for the things that don't have any tag. You feel them for all the pla like, so you don't have the plastic tags. This was back in the day. The technology has changed. Mm -hmm. I've been out of the game for a while. <laughs> so, did you have any like favorite subjects? English, because English? I was fluent. That was the hardest one for me. Yeah. Book reports and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say but. I will say that English did teach me how to write songs. Yeah. Because you got to have, like, the intro and the meat. So you were already writing raps in yeah. high school and knew that's what you wanted to do? I wrote my first rap when I was, like, 10. Really? And it sucked because what I did What was it about? You know when you're 10 years old, I was just Pussy. Shooting everybody, selling all the dope. You know, I was gangster and stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. 14, 15, you know? I did the same thing when I first started stand-up comedy. I didn't know where to begin, where to write. And I wasn't having sex. I was a virgin. I wasn't partying. So when I did jokes, I just, they were all about a life that like getting abortions and having sex and doing drugs. And I wasn't doing any of it. When you were in that age, it's like you're still finding yourself. Were you having sex in high school? I, I lost my virginity when I was 13. What? Yeah, I was at my sister's sleepover. I wasn't really good at it. I just kept falling out. You no, know, you think you've been watching pornos and stuff. So you're really and I was watching it. the old school VHS pornos, and they was whipping out them long dong silvers. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so I you're thought, using the same yeah, art. Yeah, so I thought without... I was packing like that. So I'm whipping. I'm trying to get the stroke right. I just fell out every time. It's consistent. Time. I don't really know if I lost my virginity that time because it wasn't a consistent flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Nikki, you know, they say, like, life is like high school. Yeah. If you had a chance to give your high school self advice, what would you say? Wait, what, wait, yeah. hold that thought. Actually got her here, little Nikki. Come on down! Oh, this is, hi. Hi. Wow, you're much cuter than I was in high school. I'm gonna try to look at you and think of you as me, but it's gonna be hard because I was a real mess. <laughs> Ugh, let's get into it. <laughs> First off, it doesn't matter what, yes, it does matter what you look like. That's everything in high school, and you know that. Here's what I'm gonna really tell you to do differently in high school. Have more fun, hook up more. You're so hot right now. Like, you have a great body. You think you're disgusting, but just by virtue of being young, you're hotter, and you should use it. Make out with boys. Make out with more girls than you already are. Start drinking now, because you're gonna quit when you're 27. Explore things. Get fingered, just even once. Maybe once, two fingers. Just get fingered a couple times so you can go into college and have something have happened down there. Put yourself in situations where you're like a little bit, not scared, but don't black out too much on prom night and forget whether or not you touched a penis. It would have been nice to like have that in your back pocket. Not his penis, but like the fact that you touched a penis that would have just given you a, a whore skip in your step. I'm distraught right now. Oh, yeah, and you should start masturbating soon, too, because you're not going to start doing that until you're, like, 30, and that is just a waste of so much fun. That you, you got to get started on that pretty soon. That was amazing advice, Nikki. Thank you. Besides the finger blasting and all that. So, uh, how do we get home from here? Go to a payphone, call Collect, call your mom. When it asks to say your name, quickly say where you are. Danny's house. So it'll go, you have a Collect call from Danny's house, and then she knows where to get you, and then you don't have to pay for the call. Thank you. You know what? I'm gonna go help her with the whole payphone oh, thing. Because yeah. I don't think those exist anymore. So yeah. she's probably gonna be confused. See you, Nikki! <laughs> it's open. Oh, great. You're here with the weed. What you got for me, Doc? <laughs> Hello, Daniel. Allow me to present your legally procured medicine. Oh! 
I've got sativas, indicas, and edibles. Whatever you need, I've got the weed. Gangster. <clears throat> For that great escape, I have got the flavored face. I cover every niche, including pure hashish. So if you want to fly, I will build your sky, and if you want a phase, I'll give you purple haze. No matter what but you rip, <laughs> just let your bar Excellent choice. <laughs> Good day, sir. That guy's a professional. Man, this couch up my swag, bro. I keep trying to sit in this, but oh, look who showed up. Schoolboy <laughs> Q. Yo, Schoolboy Q is a dope rapper. Yo, we should try to slide on our mixtape. We plugged up right now. True, true. I want to go to Danny House. I want to go to Danny House. Got a silly ass couch. Well, you gotta be careful with it. I still owe 1995 a month on that when they go come get it about pay. <laughs> you know what, yeah. what you think? Man, we were just sitting here talking about high school and everything. You was the perfect person to talk about. F high school, dude. I hate that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, it seemed like you did so good in school. It was just so that easy. It was just easy. I used to just play snake all day in the f class, so I don't really know. So you think you're just smart? You're just a smart yardie nigga. Yeah, that's just pretty much what it is. I'm just a smart ass nigga. That's why my name's Schoolboy. It's just like, shit is just too easy for me. You was an athlete, right? You played football, baseball. Play receiver, I played kick return, punt return, cornerback. Was you any good? Yeah, I was a nigga. So you went to all the like homecomings and like prime and all that? Yeah, man, I went. I went just to get some pussy and I was just trying to leave. What made you choose rapping over football? I mean, shit, I had no choice. Um, all right, so I played my last two years of junior college football, then I f went to jail right afterwards. What? So I couldn't, like, make, I mean, rob and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's what happens when you play cornerback. You always want to steal and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I mean, they finally caught up to me, the street life shit. She was already rapping by then. Nah. So when did you start I, um, rapping? Like 21, when I was 21. But that was already football was over with? Yeah, it was over. You got lucky, man. Like, that uh, don't really happen for a lot of people, because a lot of people always get this one dream. They be like, I'm going to be a football player, I'm going to be a basketball player. Then when that don't work, they just end up working at UPS or something. So that's a real lucky <laughs> case. You get what I'm saying? Niggas dumb, UPS. <laughs> That'll be the first place do? a nigga go. As soon as the football career <laughs> I don't know. I got lucky with TD, man. Look what we doing now. We kicking in Danny's house. Exactly. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Was you, like, super big in the clothes in high school, too? Yeah, I was kind of into that shit, but I had all, like, the academic shit. Academic? Yeah, I had all that shit, nigga. <laughs> I think my daughter was already 10 when that came out. I was more of a polo, Tommy Hill figure. Yeah, that was going up, too, but I was, I'm not 65 years old. <laughs> that was elementary for me. That was saying. high school for your old ass. I started high school in 1995. Nigga, you started way before Ruby Bridges crossed that damn main line. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, all right, all right, all right. So would you say you was a bully in high school? Nah, I was I was the bully stopper. You weren't game banging in high school? Yeah, but game bangers ain't bullies, bro. I mean, I would think so. Every time I was in that lady talking about where you're from, cuz. I mean, I'm from yeah. Detroit. I ain't got nothing to do with none of I'm this. I'm from the D. I'm from the D. <laughs> I don't got nothing to do with none of this. Yeah, but anyway. I, I never had to encounter no bullies. <laughs> You went through high school, you know, game banging, you know, sports and all that. Did you ever think now you would be a golf playing dad, though? Hell nah. I used to look at that shit like some white boy weirdo shit. The next thing I knew, this bet turned to me playing golf every day into having three 
Country club membership. That's crazy. <laughs> so what do you think is harder, like high school rules or like country club rules? Country club rules. What? Because white people have the nerve to actually tell you something. Like, <laughs> what? I thought we got past that. Like, are you white mother we leave out here, you wouldn't even say two words to me. You're mm -hmm. scary ass. But you on their territory now. Yeah, you yeah, on their yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, you gotta abide by the rules. I mean, it's the country club rules is weird, bro. And then it's some corny shit because really be snitching. I got a bad habit of hitting the ball out the out of the sand bunker and not raking. Uh, yeah, it'd be a mother that ride right by you. You see him look at you funny and you know you're doing something wrong. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at the type of shit you going through now. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> you went from game banging to worried about raking the sand right on golf clubs, man. Come on, man. So you know what? I want you to give me some help, man. And I want you to give some advice to a young Nikki Glazier about high school. What if I just twist up while we doing that? I mean, you can. <laughs> come on, little Nicky, come down here. Little Nicky. What's up, little Nicky? Well, young schoolboy Q ain't show up, so I want you to give advice to a teenage Nicky Glazier. <laughs> Just give her, like, you know, some words of encouragement, man. Man, high school is tough, but you can make it easy. Follow my lead right here. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you can be the square in school, or you can be the cool kid in school. It's called a font to leave. Okay. All the other kids are gonna be smoking swishers and backwoods. You're gonna pull out the font to leave. It's gonna be way more cooler. You break it down. Is studying important in high school? No. Oh. The answer is in a book. So basically, just look in the book. I think that's called studying when you look in the book. What should I do if someone's bullying me in high school? You cuff that part. I mean, just go get you a little gangbanger boyfriend, and he gonna that bully right up. Don't tell her nothing like that, man. We're trying to get words of encouragement right now. I was told I should tell the principal if someone's bullying me. The principal, he's a bitch. The principal used to get bullied. So why are you gonna <laughs> tell the dude that used to get his ass kicked that you getting your ass kicked? The principal, go get that boyfriend I told you about. He gonna kick the principal ass too, shit. And you go with that nigga. What do you think, Danny? Yeah, Danny, what would your advice be for Nikki? Um, just, just take track. You learn how to run fast, hurdles, you can jump fences, you know what I'm saying? The best thing to do with a bully, just run as fast as you can. Your advice is the pussy route? No, no one likes physical altercation. Your old ass is too old to keep running from mother You better sit there and square up. Dude, don't be telling her that shit. What Danny's talking about. Man, look, boom, boom, and there you go. You the coolest mother in high school, and the rest of the years, 9th through 12th, however long you get held back, it's going to be a breeze, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My nigga Nicky. <laughs> you get real My far in life, little Nicky. <laughs> you going to go up, watch. I think we confused her enough. You can go, little Nicky. Bye, little Nicky. You going to be cool as shit, bruh, I'm telling you. So you're just trying to create anarchy, man. We, the children are our future, man. What are you trying to do? <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for coming through, hanging out with me. Shit, I hope my nigga get a second season. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way, dog. There's no way. So, what did we learn today? I guess the most important thing is don't worry about being too popular in high school. Cause most of the people that was popular in high school ain't shit today. You're getting bullied. Just date a gangbanger and get them to beat them up. And take track. Learn how to run fast. Don't shoplift. That's super embarrassing. Just hit the dry cleaners. But last but not least, everything in life is like a high school. Prison, country clubs. Man, just chill and have fun at recess. I would like to thank my guests, Schoolboy Q and Nikki Glacier for coming through and kicking it with me at the crib. All right, now, get your ass up out of here. And don't forget to study. Danny, Danny, Danny. What a day. It's a tough one. This job is killing me, Danny. These packages never stop. People don't go anywhere anymore. People don't even go to the store to get their own food. They won't even go to the bodega to grab their own apple. It's a disease.
That reminds me. Here's a new bodega tape. Why is it open? Because I opened it. How many of these tapes do you have? I don't know. Thousands. My name is Marlon Kraft. Coming to you live from the bodega. Where? Up the street. Why don't you just go there? I can't. I got banned for shoplifting with Nikki Glazer. We was never really with the horse play. Back before the delis were all gourmet. Before the high rises, there was more shade. That's a paradox. I learned not to stare at dops. I see muffs. I dropped for a long gaze. We was hooping from the morning. Those were long days. I don't know you didn't stuff you. That's the wrong way to be. And I know it, but that's what the city taught me. Fortes was my forte. Now they plastic like the faces of the models that we all raise on pedestals. The lifestyle we all crave. I don't give a fuck about your little ice or your cream. Oh, you motherfucker. Sorbet. Rich kids down the block from where the poor stay. Only time they come together is for drugs or the ball play. Thought that they was cool shit. So they caught each other on the wrong day. I got homies that'd rather be arrested than Ignored, hey, can you blame them? They'd rather be dead than be average. School to prison pipeline, they legacy applicants. Off the white boy with the jumper, gonna tell him about this shit. Yo, I don't know. Ain't a single resident that don't want mo. I grew up with some feelings like I won't show. I'd rather be washed than be pussy. So if them boys press me, I was gonna go. I was scared that my ego wasn't gonna grow. Saw that fear in the eyes of all my mans, too. I ain't know how I'd be great, but I plan to. You can't always just be happy, let this song play. It's all love, but shit, homie, this an off day. Shit, I'm from where it's off you till it's not. And once it's not the, anytime you got a problem, you can call me. New York City, my like, oh, oh, I'm a New York baby. I'm a New York baby. I'm a New York baby. I'm a New York baby.